Hello student, welcome to Siva Sterling Academy. This is 12th standard mathematics complex number unit 2. The exercise number 2.8, the fourth question. If 2 cos alpha is equal to x plus 1 by x and 2 cos beta is equal to y plus 1 by y. Show that the first point x by y plus y by x is equal to 2 cos alpha minus beta the point 2 xy minus 1 by xy is equal to 2 i sin alpha plus beta the third point the x power m by y power m minus y power m by x power m is equal to 2 i sin m alpha minus n beta the fourth point the x power m y power m plus 1 by x power m into y power n is equal to 2 cos m alpha plus n beta the four points in our fruit one now. This is very very important question. Right? See the solution. So what is given here? The 2 cos alpha is equal to x plus 1 by x. Now the 2 cos alpha is equal to this is x into x. The x square plus 1. The whole divided by x. In the LCM. Right? So this is in the XM put on the 2x. The cos alpha is equal to the x square plus 1. Right? In the x square, you can do the multiple right now. Right, children. If you are going to formulate the formula, the x square is here. The minus 2x cos alpha, you can do the minus 2x cos alpha, the plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? If you are x find it, the x is equal to, what is formula? Minus b plus or minus root, the b square minus 4ac by 2a. So here the a is equal to what? x square coefficient 1 then b is equal to minus 2 cos alpha. x out of coefficient is another b. This is b. The c is equal to 1. So we apply it. The x is equal to minus the b value minus 2 cos alpha the plus or minus the root b square minus 2 cos alpha the whole square minus 4 into the a value. What is that? 1. The c value 1. They are divided by 2 into a. The a is equal to what? 1. So this is 1. So which is equal to minus into minus plus 2 cos alpha plus or minus the root. This is what? 4. The cos square alpha minus 4 into 1 into 1. 4 finally. You know, minus square mole plus sign. Right? So, this is 4 cos square alpha divided by this is what? 2. Which is equal to 2 cos alpha plus or minus the root 4 common and that's the The cos square alpha minus 1 divided by 2. So, which is equal to the 2 cos alpha 4 root and that's the square root of 4, 2. So, root this is cos square alpha minus 1 minus sin square alpha, right? cos square theta minus 1 is equal to what? minus sin square alpha divided by this 2. Right? 2 will cancel and go. So the cos alpha plus or minus root this is minus sin square alpha. Right? So the cos alpha plus or minus. If you get sin square alpha rooted the sin alpha no do. In a minus 1 will be clear. The root minus 1 is equal to i. Root minus because you know very well the i square equal to minus 1. So root minus 1. Pi is equal to root, root minus 1. So minus root 1 is i. Then so, the minus is i. So root sin square alpha. Root is the, the sin alpha. This is x. Right? This is x. So in the concept of in the equation, the x can be used. That is why 2 cos beta. 2 cos beta is equal to y plus 1 by y. So this is 2 cos beta is equal to y square plus 1 by y. So this is 2y cos beta is equal to y square plus 1. Therefore this is y square minus 2y cos beta plus 1 equal to 0. Ademari x we have to put y is equal to minus b. So minus into minus plus 2 cos beta plus or minus. Right? So this is root b square minus 4ac. So this is minus 2 cos beta the whole square minus 4 ac by 2a which is 2 cos beta plus or minus this is 
root 4 cos square beta minus 4 by 2. This is 2 cos beta plus or minus root 4 will it touch na the cos square beta minus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 cos beta plus or minus 4 root will it touch na 2 then root cos square beta minus 1 minus sin square beta divided by 2 right so now 2 2 cancel so which is equal to the cos beta right plus or minus root minus sin square beta can be written as right but how the minus 1 is really other than the other one i in the one yeah so minus root 1 means what i sin square beta when you say now the sin beta this is y value so y is equal to what the cos beta plus i sin beta if a whole point of root 1 go see what is the first point now see the first point the x by y plus y by x is equal to 2 cos alpha minus beta in full point now forget you know very well what is the x x is equal to cos alpha plus i sin alpha now the plus or minus beta and find it when it goes and the sum code goes the plus code at the end of the number right so otherwise y is equal to the cos beta plus i sin beta so in the point saying apply for the problem right the x by y is equal to x is equal to what cos alpha plus i sin alpha divided by the cos beta plus i sin beta now this can be written as cos of alpha cos alpha by cos beta formula the alpha minus beta right plus i sin are they marring in another one the alpha minus beta denominator ratio theta minus one minus i right this is the x by y. Similarly, in the y by x is our reciprocal. It is our reciprocal. It is our cos alpha minus beta plus n of i is minus 9. We have to put it Alpha minus beta. Parent is the end of the solution. Add it. So, the x by y plus y by x is equal to the cos alpha minus beta plus i sin the alpha minus beta plus cos alpha minus beta minus i sin the alpha minus beta so add pannu bodhu plus sin minus i sin cancel i know the remaining cos cos and add pannu 2 cos alpha minus beta right therefore hence the proof hence the proof point 1 point 1 for pannu actually which mean the x by y plus y by x is equal to 2 cos alpha this is the point one. Now, next to point part one. So, see the second point now. Right? We have x into y. So, the x into y is equal to what is x? The cos alpha plus i sin alpha into the y. What is that? Cos beta plus i sin beta. So, if we multiply the cos alpha plus beta. Right? Cos into alpha plus beta plus i sin the alpha plus beta right so x by y are then the final one now one by x y which means about in the reciprocal so we will write in the plus to minus i will tap over that is the reciprocal so cos alpha plus beta minus i sin the alpha plus beta it was separate from here the x y minus one by x y is equal to the cos the alpha plus beta plus i sin the alpha plus beta right minus this is 1 by x y this is 1 by x y answer the cos alpha plus beta minus i sin the alpha plus beta so this can be written as the cos alpha plus beta plus i sin the alpha plus beta this is minus cos alpha plus beta so minus into minus plus i sin alpha plus beta. See this. Plus cos alpha plus beta minus cos alpha plus beta will be cancelled. So i sin alpha plus beta, i sin alpha plus beta. Totally 2i sin the alpha plus beta. Right? So this is the answer. Therefore, hence the proof. Hence the proof. The point number 2. Now, third point. So, see the third point. What is given here? 
the x power m by y power n minus y power n by x power m is equal to 2i psi m alpha minus n beta. So the x power m by y power n. What is x? The cos alpha plus i sin alpha power m. So divided by this is y. Y n is equal cos beta plus i sin beta power n. So this can be done. Forget by d movies theorem. D movies theorem means what? What is the d movies theorem? The cos theta plus i sin theta power m is equal to the cos m theta plus i sin m theta. This is d movies theorem, right? So the m we are going to do now. So cos m alpha plus i sin m alpha divided by this is cos n is going to power. That is n beta. Plus i sin n beta is equal to the cos for again m alpha by n beta under here. If the numerator comes out, it minus n beta na ido. M alpha minus n beta plus the i sin m alpha minus n beta. So this is the x power m by y power n value. So in here, for again, this is our reciprocal of here. So similarly, y power n by x power m. This can be written as the cos m alpha minus n beta. In the plus of the minus na theta po minus i sin m alpha minus n beta. So if we do the other side, subtract from the x power m by the y power m minus y power m by x power m is equal to. So first we do the thing. The cos m alpha minus n beta plus i sin m alpha minus n beta. Minus this term, the cos m alpha minus n beta plus I mean here minus the key, yeah, minus the i sin m alpha minus n beta, right? So this can be written as cos m alpha minus n beta plus i sin m alpha minus n beta minus this cos m alpha minus n beta. Minus to minus plus i sine into the m alpha minus n beta. So the same thing. We go plus cos minus cos cancel, which is equal to i sine m alpha minus n beta. I sine m alpha minus n beta. Then the other one, two i sine the m alpha minus n beta. Therefore, hence the proof point. Three. Put it in there. So see the fourth point. The value I am going to write. The x power m into y power n. X is equal to the cos alpha plus i sin alpha power m into y. The cos beta plus i sin beta power n. So by the way, we stay on. So by now, cos m alpha plus i sin m alpha into cos n beta. Plus i sin n beta, right? So this is the cos m alpha plus n beta. Multiply by number of reaction, I have plus no one, right? Plus i sin the m alpha plus n beta. So this is the x power m y power n answer, right? So are there any no? It is a reciprocal, right? So similarly, one by x power m. Y power n. So reciprocal or more in the plus minus part of the law. Cos m alpha plus n beta minus i sin the m alpha plus n beta. But under the add part is what it is. So x power m into y power n plus one by the x power n y power n is equal to the cos m alpha plus n beta plus i sin m alpha plus n beta. Plus that part only. Yeah, cos m alpha plus n beta, right? Minus i sin m alpha plus n beta. So now i sin plus minus cancel. So in that part na two cos m alpha plus n beta. Therefore, hence the proof point four. Put it in there. So the answer, na mo proof pani to. This is very important problem, right? So in the video, you will be able to see the like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.